Hello, and welcome to Sleep in Peace. Thank you for joining me. This meditation will help you enter the peaceful rest God wants for each of his children so that you can sleep without worry or fear, secure, knowing that God is watching over you, trusting that he will give us the restoration our minds, bodies, hearts, and spirits need. To begin, we'll focus on our breathing and on letting God's peace and comfort enter our bodies. As we do this, you will find yourself relaxing, letting go of tension and stress, feeling more and more at ease as any concerns slip away and you focus on God's presence in and around you. I will then pray quietly over you and claim God's promises for you as you enter deeper and deeper into God's peace and rest. Whenever you fall asleep, it's fine. There's no right or wrong time, only his time. He knows what you need most and when you need it. So just listen to my voice, relax, and prepare to drift off and enjoy his gift of sleep and restoration. Whether you are awake or asleep, the truths of his word will reach you. Before we begin, Make sure you're comfortable. Turn off any lights or other devices that might distract or keep you awake. If there's anything on your mind that you need to release, take a moment and write it down somewhere. Then put it out of your mind, away. Now you can let go and slip naturally and peacefully into the deep sleep you're about to experience. Begin by closing your eyes. Settle back in a resting position and just listen to my voice. You are about to enter into a deeply relaxing state. Notice how comforted and supported your body is. The body that has carried you through this day and is about to be rested and replenished. Notice any textures or smells around you that are soothing and pleasant to your senses. Become aware of the peaceful stillness of the space you are in. Everything around you ready to hold and nurture you as you prepare to enter into the sleep and restoration God is going to give you. Now, take a deep breath in through your nose, feeling God's loving, sustaining presence enter you. And then 
release the breath, letting out any stress, worry, or responsibilities you may be holding on to. Once again, deep breath in, feeling God's presence and comfort moving deeper into you, and out, knowing that there is nowhere else to be, nothing else to do than to rest at peace in God's loving arms. One more time. Breathe in and out. And now, directing our attention fully towards the one who sustains us with every breath we take, the one who watches over us always and never sleeps. Let us pray. Holy Father God, we come to you in need of rest. You are the only one who can handle all our concerns and responsibilities. You know what to do with what troubles us better than we do. Thank you for taking care of everything so we can enter into the blissful state of childlike sleep. You have told us to cast all our burdens on you, Lord. Letting them go so we can recuperate from the day that is now behind us. Refreshed for the day ahead. Settle our spirits fully so we can enter smoothly into the blessed sleep you have promised us. Any burdens we may still be carrying, we offer up to you. Unburden us so that we might enter your sanctuary where all is safe, right, and good. At peace and alone with you, watching over us, curled up in your loving embrace, we can slumber, trusting that you will give us your holy rest and lead us to a place where anxiety and depression are lifted and sorrow is replaced with your peace, joy, and hopefulness. As we rest in your presence, secure in you, knowing we have nothing to prove, nowhere to be, but safe in your arms. How blessed we are to be called yours, children of the Almighty God. Thank you for your goodness, your love, and your faithfulness, for staying with us in the dark when all other lights go out. You are the great I am, ruler of all, power above all other powers, and protector of mankind. When we are weak, you are strong. You will not let the righteous be shaken 
nor the powers of darkness prevail. We need not fear, for we are covered by the blood of the Lamb, the one who has overcome darkness and conquered death. You guard over us as we sleep, safe and secure, and are with us when we awake, ready to face a new day. Knowing this, let us more fully absorb the promises you have made us. Promises to hold and protect us, to care for and nurture us, to show your strength, power, and might in our lives and circumstances to lift us so that we might shine forth as an example of your might and glory praising you and your angels in ways that please you and free you to shine forth among us singing holy holy Holy, Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Thank you for the scriptures we're about to hear words designed to comfort, uplift, and inspire us. Words repeated back to you now in gratitude that you always hear us and deliver on your promises. For you have told us that we lie down and sleep and then wake again because you, Lord, sustain us. You grant sleep to those you love. On our beds, we remember you and think of you through the watches of the night because you are our help. We sing in the shadows of your wings. Our souls cling to you and your right hand upholds us. Knowing this, we need not be afraid. In peace, we can both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make us dwell in safety. You ensure our sleep will be sweet. You alone will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trusting in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. Therefore, our hearts are not troubled or afraid because the peace you leave with us, the peace you give us, is not given to us as the world gives. Instead, presenting our requests with prayer and petition and thanksgiving in every situation without being anxious about anything, 
we receive the peace of God. The peace which transcends all understanding and which will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Because you are our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And so we need not fear. We can be still and know that you are God. You, the Lord Almighty, are with us. Thank you, God, that we can cast all our anxiety onto you because you care for us. Thank you that every one of us who is weary and burdened can come to you so that you may give us rest. That as we take your yoke upon us and learn from you, who are gentle and humble in heart, we find rest for our souls. For your yoke is easy and your burden is light. We are blessed to know that when we dwell in the shelter of the Most High, we abide in the shadow of the Almighty. That when we say to you, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, you cover us with your feathers, and under your wings we find refuge. As we lift up our eyes to the hills, our help comes from you, Lord, the maker of heaven and earth the one who does not let our foot slip, the one who watches over us and does not slumber or sleep, the one who keeps us from all harm and watches over our life. And so, we need not worry about tomorrow. We need not fear or be dismayed, for you are with us. You are our God. You will strengthen us and help us. You will uphold us with your righteous right hand. All we need to do is seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, and all the things we need will be given to us as well. Remembering this, let us enjoy the beautiful words of Psalm 23. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. You make us lie down in green pastures. You lead us beside still waters. You restore our souls. You lead us 
in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our heads with oil. Our cups overflow. Surely, goodness and love will follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, Lord, for letting us dwell in your shelter, shadow, and home forever. Thank you for holding all things in your hands, the heavens, the earth, and all that has been, is, and will be. Thank you that we can sleep while you watch over us secure in your love, goodness, power, and might. Knowing this, we are at peace. About to sleep, or already sleeping, knowing you are in control. You are in charge. You are God. Thankful for the sweet sleep you give us, knowing it will equip us for whatever tomorrow may hold, that you will be with us when we awake refreshed, ready to face the day, knowing you are there whenever we need you. In the name of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you for this time of worship, prayer, and relaxation. To close, I'd like to read the promises of God over you as you rest, so that they may penetrate your being as deeply as possible. For you have told us that we lie down and sleep, and then wake again, because you, Lord, sustain us. You grant sleep to those you love. On our beds, we remember you and think of you through the watches of the night because you are our help. We sing in the shadows of your wings. Our souls cling to you, and your right hand upholds us. Knowing this, we need not be afraid. In peace, we can both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, 
make us dwell in safety. You ensure our sleep will be sweet. You alone will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trusting in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. Therefore, our hearts are not troubled or afraid. Because the peace you leave with us, the peace you give us, is not given to us as the world gives. Instead, presenting our requests with prayer and petition and thanksgiving in every situation without being anxious about anything, we receive the peace of God. The peace which transcends all understanding and which will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Because you are our refuge and strength in ever-present help in trouble. And so we need not fear. We can be still and know that you are God. You, the Lord Almighty, are with us. Thank you, God, that we can cast all our anxiety onto you because you care for us. Thank you that every one of us who is weary and burdened can come to you so that you may give us rest. That as we take your yoke upon us and learn from you, who are gentle and humble in heart, we find rest for our souls. For your yoke is easy and your burden is light. We are blessed to know that when we dwell in the shelter of the Most High, we abide in the shadow of the Almighty. That when we say to you, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, you cover us with your feathers, and under your wings we find refuge. As we lift up our eyes to the hills, our help comes from you, Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The one who does not let our foot slip. The one who watches over us and does not slumber or sleep. The one who keeps us from all harm and watches over our life. And so, we need not worry 
about tomorrow. We need not fear or be dismayed, for you are with us. You are our God. You will strengthen us and help us. You will uphold us with your righteous right hand. All we need to do is seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, and all the things we need will be given to us as well. Remembering this, let us enjoy the beautiful words of Psalm 23. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. You make us lie down in green pastures. You lead us beside still waters. You restore our souls. You lead us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our heads with oil. Our cups overflow. Surely, goodness and love will follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.